Hello, and welcome to The Climate Take. Where are carbon prices headed in 2024? Carbon market has been on a roller coaster ride over the last few months. A ton of carbon was worth over 100 euros in 2023, and then COP appeared, and the price collapsed a whopping 30%. Since then, it clawed half of that back before falling again even further. Now, where's this whipsaw market headed for 2024? The common explanation for this craziness was that COP was just a failure. And given the shambles in Dubai, it's a really easy argument to make. Specifically, COP failed to give us a global carbon market, which we've been waiting for since Paris. But that story, if not too wrong, is just really way too basic. And here's why. Yes, Article 6 did indeed flop. But we already have dozens of markets everywhere, from the US, the EU and China. Do we even need another? And anyway, failing to get a global option only cements the EU down as the best game in town. Its emissions trading scheme has a quality and respect that no one else can come close to. With no competition from the UN in the near future, that should mean higher prices and not lower. The rest of COP28 matters too. Transitioning away means cutting carbon faster. That will push prices higher again. The latest market roller coaster is just that. A lot of excitement to end up back where we started. Sure, COP28 made carbon traders act a bit like Redditors, but that won't last. So, what do you think? Are carbon prices going to sink or swim in 2024? Let us know. You're at Climate Tech.